build a family they say Nothing's gonna stand in their way Murder on their mind They're the killing Top anyway. What blue top? The one with the flowers on. I threw it out. Oh, you what? There are blood all over it. Do you know how hard it is? To... Oh, Maggie, I've just put a whitewash on. <laughs> oh, who was it this time? It was a taxi driver in Mount Pleasant. It was a good clean job as well, you know. It was being dead proud of me. In broad daylight. Well, when you get the age, right, you get the age. That's four ages this week. I've got to be all aged out by now. <laughs> Just because you're slowing down doesn't mean I've got you. I'm not slowing down, Maggie. I'm just more methodical. Do you know what I was thinking, right? My mum would be dead proud of us, you know? Especially me. <laughs> yeah, I guess she would. Kids have done well for themselves in a, a psychotic way. She never killed nearly as many as me at my age, though. But tsunamis don't kill as many people as you. God, do you want to live in your bed? Blood on the clothes. <laughs> I hate serious discussions. We've got more money going out than we've got coming in. Right, what about that prostitute you killed last month? She's obviously had a slow day. This isn't good, is it? Look, we might have to... Don't you dare. No. We might have to get jobs. No! It's the only way we can survive. Oh, I've just been sick of my own mouth. Alright then, just part-time jobs for now. If you expect me to work at McDonald's, I'll end up killing someone. Well, you can add it to your kill count then, can't you? Maybe I could start writing me a book. What book? Oh, Diary of a Female Slasher. It's going to be a massive success. You didn't tell me about any book. It's just come to me now, hasn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? I'm in writing mood. I could get a chapter done before tea. What's for tea, right? You're not even a writer. Oh, well, I can start. Oh, shut up, Maggie. Ugh. Look, there is another possibility. I am not sleeping with men for money again. And neither are you. A lodger. A lodger? The house is big enough. A couple of spare rooms. Somebody would pay good money to live under this roof. With a pair of homicidal maniacs, I think not. I'm not homicidal. Yeah. Look, lodger or job. <gasps> will you stop saying job? Well, I've been a school teacher for about four years now. I love children. I love everything about teaching. I love the idea of taking a small brain and moulding it into something of Really great importance to this world. What do you teach, Veronica? Sex education. <laughs> That's fantastic. So why do you think you'd be a good lodger? I can be fun. Lots of fun. For both of you. <laughs> so why would you want to come and live with us, Jeff? Um, a new start, really. I've had a bad few years. I, I just need a little time to get my head together. Yeah. A woman? The wife, actually. I was fed up with all the drinking and the beatings. I, I had to get out before I really snapped. Poor woman! I, no, no! She was beating me! <laughs> she was an alcoholic with a really fiery temper. I didn't mind the beatings at first. You know, little fun and games in the bedroom. I'd slap her, she'd hit me. But then she started inviting all these friends around. Next thing I know, I'm getting beaten by 12 women a night. Not good. Well, okay. Some nights it was good. So, what do you think? Ain't none of them. They're all weird. Well, they're gonna live with a guy who follows people, finds out everything about their lives, and then slaughters them in a violent and hideous way. And you, Jackie friggin' Ripper, any one of them would fit into this place. Oh, well, it's gonna have to be Jeff then, isn't it? I like Veronica. Listen, I don't like the idea of Veronica crawling up my mattress at 3 o'clock in the morning. It actually knocks me sick. Spoiled sport. Jeff, it is then. You do realise you're going to have to be careful now, don't you? We can be careful. No more random body parts coming out. We can do that. And certainly no more bloodstained clothing in the washing basket. Yeah, I can do that, but can you? <laughs> this is going to be so hard. Yeah, well, it would have been if you let Veronica stay. <laughs> After much consideration, Jeff, we'd like to give you the opportunity to come and live with us. Oh, that's fantastic! Welcome to our home. Your home. Oh, this is going to be great, guys! We can stay up all night watching movies, drink beer, maybe do some drugs. Oh, hang on, Jeff. We don't party much. Oh, thank God. Me neither. I just want to fit in. 
I'll go and get me stuff. Thanks again, guys. This really means a lot to me. I won't be an ounce of trouble. You won't even know I'm here most of the time. I work a lot. You never told us, Jeff. What is it exactly that you do? I'm a detective chief inspector. <laughs> that won't be a problem. No, 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 not at all, Jeff. No. This is going to be great, guys. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stand in the